What we're trying to get at here is really systemic change in chemistry education. I hope that one day we will not need to speak about green chemistry as a separate part of education, but it's going to be included in every single um, class, in every single um, syllabus, and it's going to be a fundamental part of the way that the chemistry is taught. And um, hopefully it's going to happen in my lifetime. Green chemistry is the way forward, is the way of the future for our discipline. And the students love it. The young people love it. You know, they are at that part of their life where they see the possibilities of the ways that they can make the world a better place. And they just want to be handed ideas to be able to go and do things. For me personally, um, it has been a game changer. I'm a teaching faculty. I'm not required to do research. But students of all majors came to me and said, I'm really, really interested in green chemistry. And the green chemistry commitment at our university helped, you know, was beneficial in creating that class. The green chemistry commitment is um, essentially a commitment for college and university chemistry departments to bring green chemistry to their courses and programs at a more systemic level. So it's really a signal to the community, to all the stakeholders, to our future faculty hires, that we are committed. This is what we do. This is who we are. We're not just chemists. We're chemists. And we will do things better as a green chemistry uh, focused department. So the green chemistry commitment in particular uh, played two very important functions at UC Berkeley. The first is as we were incorporating green chemistry into the curriculum in the undergraduate labs and in our upper division interdisciplinary classes, it was helpful to have a community of practice of others who were trying to do similar things uh, that we could reach out to, that we could share notes with, that we could swap curriculum with. The second has to do with the longevity of any program. So at least at Berkeley, people change who's teaching intro chem, people change who's teaching upper division courses. And what's nice about the green chemistry commitment is it provides a yearly check-in to reflect on, all right, is this still a part of our curriculum? How is it still a part of our curriculum? Um, and without that check-in, it's easy for curriculum to drift toward the interest of whoever's teaching. So upon signing the green chemistry commitment, what we really look for is continual improvement at institutions. And that can look very different at each institution. You know, because we recognize that each institution has a different set of faculty, a different set of resources that they bring to the table. So we want to keep that open and flexible in terms of how they bring green chemistry to their department. So it's nothing like a uh, an organization that's coming in and saying, here's what thou shalt do. But we're saying, what would you like to do and how can we help? And so I think that a lot of people are surprised to find out how giving people in the green chemistry community are of their own time because I've never met a community of professionals that are more willing to help others have success than the green chemistry people that I've met. Sometimes on campus, uh, it's easy to get lost within the noise. And what's great about something like the green chemistry commitment is it gives you colleagues off campus that share your priorities, that share some of your challenges, um, that are really looking at the world in the same way. And so uh, sometimes when it was hard to find uh, maybe a voice on campus to, to discuss things with, the Green Chemistry Commitment um, provided that community for us. That's where I would say for faculty, you know, engaging in these transformations is very essentially to be connected, actively connected to these existing communities. And I found for me, all the successes we had and all the progression and evolution that happened in our department happened because of that. If you decide to sign the Green Chemistry Commitment, you are going to find um, group of people who are going to be ready to support and um, encourage you to your journey to implement green chemistry into your classes and in the curriculum at your institution. You will find a group of friends who will be there to uh, give you ideas or to ask you about your results. Um, you will find a group of people who are willing to share their teaching materials 
and share their success and their failure, tell you what didn't work for them and what did work. Uh, in other words, you are going to enjoy the benefit of working and uh, growing with friends, among friends.